In this lecture, we're going to cover creating music using Apple Loops. All right, so Apple Loops are thousands of sounds that are in Logic Pro 10 that you can use royalty free. All right, that means that if you create something out of those loops or those samples, you don't have to pay any royalties to anybody for that music that you use because that's just a perk that you get when purchasing the software. So check it out. Come up here to your little loop button. All right. Top right. And click on the loop. And Apple Loops is going to pop up. As you can see, there's different sounds, different categories and different genres you can pick from. Again, just like your sound library, if you don't if you have some type of idea, hey, I want to just play with some guitars here. Just go ahead and type guitar. And all of the guitars within Apple Loops is going to pop up. And as I said before, it's hundreds of sounds that you can choose from. Now, if you want to work with, say, a minor key, OK, you can select minor key and then all of the minor keys are going to pop up. Let's let's check it out here. All right. You can you can play and stop it by clicking on it. And that was actually a pretty good little loop right there. So it's pretty dope. Um, now, you can also go with the different key signatures. Now, I would just stay with four four to be honest with you or just select any. All right. And especially if you're just a beginner. I'm telling you, man, don't don't go too too crazy with it. But uh, it's, it's there if you want. All right. There's different ways to view it. You can do like a list view. OK. It's a real cool feature, real cool way to add some 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 spice to your 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 tracks, okay? Now you can also add these these different things to favorites just by clicking on it right here. You see the little heart and then you call them favorites and now all of a sudden you have some stuff in your favorites, okay? Only other thing I want to show you here is that, you know, really is as simple as dragging it into the software program just like that. OK, it's that simple. You want to make sure that you have the right key. I'm in the key of C here. So if you push key, it will line up everything from C on down. OK, so I can just go over here and say, all right. That works. Let's go ahead and check it out. Actually, it doesn't, but you get the idea. Let's see here. I think it might actually be in a key of G. So I can just look in here and see here. Where's my G's at? Okay, G. 